Hello everyone. Sorry the bench is a total nightmare. What I'm working on doesn't take up much space. Just hope I didn't lose my tool I wanted to use. Okay, we got the TRX4M out on the bench. And a while back, I picked up the bearing kit for it. So now is as good as time as ever to break this open. And install the bearings. Because I'm going to be running this this weekend at a very, very special place. But I hope I do not get in trouble for running it at. Let's get this torn apart. Also, I do not recommend these Enjora beadlocks because they are not conducive to getting wheel wrenches in them. Okay. Let's just work on the front for now and then I can fit the rest of it and post. I really, really like this little Samix all-in-one driver. I've been using it as my go-to 1.5 mil driver. And it's come in quite handy. Traxxas really makes it hard to work on things. Their proprietary little axle mount hooks everything together. These little clips makes it super fun and awesome to get to. There's probably a bunch of you in the comments yelling at me as well. I was like, dude, you have your so stock. You need the, you need the OGRC brass servo mount. This is a trail rig. The brass beadlocks are more than enough for me. Man, look at that tiny little thing. And am I gonna have to take out those two tiny screws to get to that? I didn't even know the knuckles were replaceable. That's cool. Probably going to be hell seeing that on camera. Come on. There we go. That little kingpin screw, dude. That's awesome. I have a very storied relationship with Traxxas, and it's only just from reacting to how they deal with the public. All of my transactions and experiences with that company have thankfully been good. Traxxas TM, I do not like. I do not like how they conduct business and I do not like people that support how they do business. What? 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 Don't worry, I probably said the T word three too many times and this video is going to be flagged. But joke's on you, Traxxas. I don't make any money from my videos. Okay, initial thoughts. I didn't think bearings were going to do that much, but... God damn, this feels smooth. It took so long to get that back together that it got dark on me. I had to turn some lights on. But note to self, the long end 
of the servo mount goes forward so the servo horn will fit through it and you can get everything back together and also there's these little lips on the servo itself that give you a little indication of what side's up and what side's down. I will get this thrown back into the truck and then do the rest of it because I'm not going to torture you by sitting through all of that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're done. Pay no attention to those yahoos in the back. I have to say, that it definitely felt smoother just running the axles and running the transmission. But I'm gonna have to get it out on the trail to see like a true performance difference. Just wait until you see where I'm gonna run this thing. I'll give you a hint. Some call it the happiest place on earth. This video got complex really, really fast. All I wanted to do was put a bearing kit in this TRX4M and go test it. But I got big, grandiose ideas. I've seen a video from someone on the East Coast in Florida that was running SCX24s and the lines to the rides. I thought I would try it out here on the West Coast. I made some footage when I was not in the best of states. I was trying to be cute and sneak it in in my jacket. I don't think they would have been as mad if I just had it out in the open. I blame Traxxas. What the hell is with making these gigantic remotes? Like I said, I'm, I'm not the type of person to make waves or get in trouble, but I got really inspired by that video and I thought I'd give it a shot. If you wanna give it a shot, and learn from my mistakes. I'm not condoning anyone to break the law. Give it a shot. And I don't wanna condone or support anything that I said in those videos, even though quite honestly, I really would. But I, I gotta be professional here. I tried to bring this into Disney. It spooked them and I had to turn around and go put it back in the hotel next video in between trying to get the corvette done because i really want to get that done projects are piling up on the bench it's getting messy in here again i'm gonna run this but also something new got released i picked up the 118 percent so next video we will get this all of the way out of the box take a quick look over it test it against this guy so i'm sorry if i disappointed everybody out there by not fighting the law but i'm a non-confrontational type of person i may revisit that idea at a different point in time i'll see everyone in the next video